All right, so I had a lot of requests on how to make this shrinking tool. This is just an old impact, cordless impact that I had. I have a whole bunch of these batteries laying around. This is really the only reason why I decided to cut this one up. Um, I, I never use this thing anymore. The motor was pretty much shot in it. So we got this long rod here. That's gonna be attached to the positive side, okay? So here's the old motor. You got your positive and negative there. Just attach this to the positive side down in here somewhere, whether you weld it on or um, bolt it on. I drilled a hole and then put a tap screw through it, and that's what that how that is held on there. So this wire is just a 16 gauge wire. Um, it's nothing fancy, and then I just have it connected to this clamp. So you can see here. The reason I liked the cordless is because it has its variable it was variable speed so there's varying voltage that goes through here it's not all or nothing um so you can kind of play with it a little bit but you can see here it kicks on it oh about seven volts and then goes up to 12 okay so that's it very very simple these batteries will uh, go dead very, very quick doing this. So have a, I had six of them laying out all charged and ready to go. And basically once these are done, put them in the charger, swap them out. They don't last very long um, doing this, but if you just had one little area you're trying to shrink, it'll work good. If it's a huge area, then you're gonna need to do something like this or just buy a power box or something. All right, so he, here is a uh, even more simple method. We've got a lawnmower battery hooked to some jumper cables, and there's also a battery charger hooked to that battery just so that I can sort of maintain the voltage where I want it. Because um, doing this, I mean, if you don't have steady voltage, it's gonna be kind of hard to do this. Um, so I would recommend getting like a volt meter or something so you know at least kind of kind of where you're at um so that's it you can see i've just got a metal rod here and that battery fully charged um is gonna burn the paint really 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 quick so you uh you need to get that battery down to about you know five six volts and then keep the charger on it. Just I just keep it on a trickle charge, basically trying to maintain that six or seven volts. Seems to be kind of the sweet spot, at least with this setup. I mean, it's all, it all varies depending on the wiring size and everything, you know, a bigger wire obviously is gonna carry more voltage. So, it, I mean, you just gotta play around with it until you get it where you want, but. I'll show you here, I got this test panel. I'm just gonna show you here. I think this thing's got like 12 volts. So we'll show you how quick, you know, it'll it'll heat this up. Oh, actually, that might be about right. Let's see, that battery's kind of dead. It's a little hot. So if that's a little hot, you don't want it that hot. It's gonna burn the paint. Um, so basically drain your battery down and then start playing around with it. Super easy, guys. This is a somewhat dangerous, but I mean, you can make it work. Hope that helped you.